goes. This will be even better. It's just gonna work. It's really cold. Harley told me I didn't need to because these are sick. This is an ST. It looks so good in those photos. It's like rah, 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 rah. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Look at this, bro. Yeah. 136 stroker, big intake. You're, oh, this is a fast Johnny. This bike is 120 grand. No one's done an M8 powered chopper and we converted it to carbureted. It's another build series. Let's go, man. <laughs> We're going back to champion. We're gonna do a little more work. Get the, get the garage door open. I'm gonna start it. Another one right now, man. We'll get awesome. you on another one. Awesome. We'll the dog's here today. We'll tag you. Yeah. I'll bring him we'll go bring up the dog. Hey, this side. <laughs> He's just chilling. No, when the seat's up, he won't come over. What's up? Hey, Paul. Cool. Okay, hopefully, this is the last day of winter. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's supposed to warm up next yeah. week. Yeah. I've been riding a uh, like I've been riding a little bit. It's like I rode 20 degrees dropped from yesterday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's crazy. It's 14 degrees at the beginning of yesterday and then dropped down to minus 5, I want to say. Yeah, I got some bars up. I put on my fat boy from Tampa. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. 13 inch uh, bars, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice right on. Nice. If you're in Toronto, Don Daniels, hit him up for your uh, for your motorcycle pickup. Yeah. He's great. This is fully like a champion build. Well, it's funny because I, I bought my 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 fat boy. It's an 07, right? I bought it at the Cambridge Charlie. Yeah. So when yeah, I picked yeah. when I picked it up, they said, "Oh, you're getting a really good bike. It's got a lot of work done on the engine. It's a teach motor." Oh yeah, nice. So I don't know what that means. Cause that was my first Harley, right? Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. So, <laughs> so Mississauga Harley, I had it in there a couple times for oil change, and I was asking the mechanics there, and they don't get we don't know. I'm thinking, what the fuck is your bike? Like, it's Harley, right? They didn't know what to do. <laughs> so, so when I got the bars put on Champion, when I picked it up, Dan goes, "Did you get that work done yourself on the engine?" I said, "No, I got it that way." He goes, "You know how much that engine's worth? Because it's a '96 engine, right?" But right, it's, but it's stage four. He goes, "It's a 110 now." Oh, really? He goes, that, he goes "The engine, is, the engine work that was done on that bike, he says, worth 10 grand." <laughs> That's amazing. And I thought, "Well, I got lucky. Yeah, what did yeah. you pay for it?" So I got, I bought it for 14. I'm more like about the look and the sound, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's not but like I, the high, I, high output. When I first rode it, it I'm thinking this fucking bike's like a rocket. It's fast, yeah, right? <laughs> fast, man. So with the uh, with the Thunder Max, you don't need the dyno one, right? It's supposed, uh, to, it's supposed to have an auto tuner, right? I even my auto you, tuner's right under the seat. So I, that that tuner, I'm I'm not familiar with that brand over like overly, but even with those tuners, like I still prefer to get mine tuned. Yeah. Because I just I personally I find it just tunes it more accurately. It runs better. Yeah. Than kind of an auto tune or when they map it. Because what's the other one I used to use? Fuel the, pack. Yeah, the FP3 I had. Wait, I think they have an still, FP4 can you now. Still dyno it with the Thunder Max. I, I don't know. I just yeah, him. just uh, Dan like, would be able to tell you. Yeah, because Dan, he, they do. Yeah, they I don't do have that. anything like that on here. Yeah. He pulled everything off. On my last bike, I had an FP3. And it was kind of running like shit with the yeah. tune. So Dan was like, it's garbage and pulled it off. And we just tuned it. Like, did a proper dyno on it. Yeah. And after that, it ran better. So from here on out, I'll just do it. I want to do that. I'm going yeah, with you, so I'll rock the drive over, so I'll meet you over there. Real chat with you. See you there. All right, cool. It's because it's cold, I think. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah. It's Build Series Volume 2, 3. Yeah, whatever, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. We're heading to Champion. Matt's got more stuff going on the El Diablo. Yep. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Why don't we talk about it when we get there? Because I want Dan to kind of run through what we're doing. It's 
freezing out. It's so cold. It is. Yeah, what would it be? Let's think, what would it be in. I looked this up because I was. I knew we were vlogging today, so this you morning I did the conversion. So in Toronto, it feels like minus 11 or minus 12, minus 12 Celsius well, here, to Fahrenheit. I, here, I'll just do that right on, on the app here. Feels like it feels like. Yeah, it. yeah, no, I, I got you. With the wind chill, it's much colder. I don't know why they even do that. Like if it feels like that, it just is that temperature, man. Feels, feels like 10. 10. It currently feels like 10, but it's not minus. It's really cold, but whatever. We're getting work done on the bike. So it's a good day anyways. All right, let's head to champion cycle. Some dude almost hit us. <laughs> Scrolling Instagram and stumble upon uh, what looks like a new paint scheme for Harley Davidson called the Tobacco Fade. Uh, this looks sick. This is an ST. It looks so good in those photos. Like, for that to be a stock paint job is pretty sick. Yeah, it looks like they're trying to like, it's inspired by like old guitars. So like, think of like Les Pauls. It's yeah, got that yeah. kind of like sunburst kind of like yeah. look. It looks super sick. Yeah. And I'm definitely interested in getting an ST myself and I would probably get this paint job. That, again, for a stock paint job, like, it reminds me like same kind of vibe as the El Diablo like yeah 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 like retro looking it looks sick it's man really sick at least again in these photos this is the first we've seen it and it's uh, is it out yet is if, it out I think now? you can get it now yeah it's That's on it's on sick. it's on the Harley Davidson website it doesn't look as good on the Harley website um, mm -hmm. but that's like with any paint job like I want to go see one in person. That'd I want to like, should go to a dealership or something go yeah. check one out because that that's... that pip, that bike looks sick It's cold. What do you What do you have there? Uh, I got a couple parts again. Most of the parts are here, but I brought a few extra for Dan. I'll show you. I don't, you probably don't remember, but I had a light cover. On the front, oh, I remember you had that thing you bought from Baja or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the proper back bracket for my light. Okay. And I got a new lens, just like a, so it's nice and clean. So just put on. And then you're gonna love this. More gold <laughs> bolts. <laughs> More gold bolts. Nice. I know. <laughs> um, this okay. is a, a brake arm. It's an yeah. adjustable brake arm, yeah. so we can adjust the length. I figure like you and I are roughly like kind of same size. Yeah. So if it's comfortable for you, it'll probably be comfortable yeah. for Yeah, me. they just made this. They didn't yeah. have this before. Yeah, it's new. Yeah, we That's, didn't get it for his because they didn't have it yet. They were still making it. This is a, the, the pedal for it. I don't know if it's a little big, but we'll see what it looks like. It yeah. matches my uh, floorboards, but I don't yeah. know. We'll see. Okay. Uh, but that's it, other than okay. what everything Other than everything I have already. Hey, Doc. Hey, buddy. Beautiful day today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I gotta go store it somewhere. All right, let's talk about okay. what we were just talking about. The music's off now. So, yeah, I was just asking. I see Dan just built this 136 and it's getting what's the horsepower and torque? Uh, made 156 horse to the wheel and it made 165 foot pounds. Yeah, that's nuts. But you said it's a stroker motor, right? It's a, yeah, it's a 136, yeah, so it's so, a stroker motor. So like, I was obviously talking about, thinking about, well, maybe I want to do that to my bike, but it's not a good idea if I'm doing kind of big rides on it, right? In my opinion, yeah. it's not a good idea if you're doing long rides. Depending who you ask, they might tell you different things because sure. they want to sell you stuff, right. but no. You don't want a stroker motor because it's just, it's not as strong and reliable of a motor. That's right. A, and B, and any, mechanic worth a grain of salt will tell you this the minute you start touching the bottom end mm -hmm. reliability is out the window versus a stock machine pressed right bottom end so. so so that's more think about doing like something like a 136 like the stroker motor when this is more just if that's your quick buzzing around town yeah. take it to a show go out for a rip with the boys on a saturday bike yeah oh, hell yeah yeah 136 stroker big intake you're 
hundred and sixty horse to the wheel ish. It'll be a it'll be it'll be a muscle car. You yeah, know, a muscle yeah. car pulls in and it's like rah, 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 rah. that's yeah, literally yeah. what it'll be. Yeah, that's so, what that is. So what you do is you buy a road glide yeah, yeah. for the touring. Exactly. Yeah. Sell me the one twenty eight. Exactly. And put the uh, yeah. one thirty. And the road years. glide, which is the problem with all these Maybe new bikes, it. you still got to upgrade them. Yeah. Because oh, even sure. if you don't do cylinder and pistons, if you didn't want to go that way, you still got to do a cam. Still yeah, got to do uh, an oil yeah. pump. Still got to do a cam plate. Still got to do push do rods. Yeah. So it's just like Jesus Christ. Like it's, you know, everybody calls me. I'm going to buy this. I'm like, listen, whatever you buy, you're 5K on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Always. <laughs> know that. Always. So know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm not that some guys will be like, well, I'll do it down the road. And it's like, well, you, you bought a Harley. You're going to ride around for X amount of years. Well, it sounds like a Honda. <laughs> and then and then down the road, you're gonna do what? Yeah. They're like, well, I'll do my pipes, then I'll do the rest. And I'm like, well, while you're doing your pipes, you gotta tune. If you don't tune, your bike runs lean and runs like a bag. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, Harley told me I didn't need to because I, they can give me a preload map. I'm just like, I shake my head and I'm just like, you know what, dude, do what you want. Like, yeah. I, you can't fix stupid. Yeah. I can't. All right, so the moral, is, I'm just gonna, cause right now it's, it's I haven't had a single issue with it. And mm-hmm. again, we took it across the country. Yeah. So it, I'm gonna, I'll leave the motor as is then. And uh, yeah. maybe one day we'll. Yeah, cause you, you gotta do more. You gotta do the full motor. You gotta do the different cam. Like you're going huge. What, what cam's this in this by the way? I don't remember. If I told you a number, I'd be lying. But it was, it's. Was it an s and do you know? It's an s and yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an s It's the biggest one they had. It was the five, I think the 590 is like the race cam. Mm, yeah, like, but they there's call bigger the race now. Cam. There's bigger they now. They do, they're bigger than 590? Yeah, there's bigger now. So we went, so maybe it's a fueling, cause I think it's 610. Anyways, it, whatever it is, it was Some the biggest we could get. Yeah, monster cam. Cause their power pack kit still comes with a 550. Oh really? And he didn't want a 550 cause he has a 550 in his FXDR. Okay, okay. Which is for sale, by the way. Really? Yeah, he's done. He's, he's I mean, I would throw a 550, because I have a 540 in mine. Is, yeah, do you think there'd be went, enough of a difference with a 550? Not that you could justify spending the money. Okay, well then. I mean, I'll take the money if you want to spend <laughs> it. No, 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 you already you're just. <laughs> trying to give you solid advice here. No, no, no. <laughs> well, because the difference was, the reason I remember about 540 versus 550 is, again, just for that kind of But then if you get trip. a road glide, you don't have to buy a cam. That 540 cam goes in your road glide. Mm-hmm. Or if he buys your kit, he takes the 540. Boy, that's that's what mm-hmm. I would have thought. Is yeah. he takes the 540. if he takes it, then there you go. Perfect. You're not going to notice much difference between a 540 and a 550. What are you going to gain, man? I don't know. Five horsepower. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't know for sure, but what, until we did it from that small of a of a jump and lift, like what are you going to gain? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's recipe, right? It's mm-hmm. the whole thing you pay for is the recipe. Yeah. So. As far as motor goes, we'll just do the powder. Coating. We'll just do the powder coating. We'll do all the cosmetic stuff. Your full suspension upgrade and the front braking upgrade. Uh, Check this out. We're driving. I, I, I'm like, okay, I gotta go grab parts from Harley. Jump in the truck, Alan always wants to go to Harley. Yeah, He's yeah. a fanboy, right? He okay. wants t-shirts and stickers yeah, yeah. and bullshit. <laughs> Gets in the car, we drive down to Harley, Mississauga Harley, right? Yeah, I go to the yeah. counter, Dan Champion, pick up my parts, no problem. As I'm leaving, Alan's like, hey, come here. I'm like, dude, let's go. Cause I had to go to the machine shop anyway. I had some V-Rod heads there, right? Okay. He goes, come here, come here. I said, what, man? He goes, do you know what this is on the way out the door? And he's pointing at this bike and it's in the showroom. And, I, and honestly, I didn't know. I'm just like, I don't know. No, it's, it's, a, it's a Harley. <laughs> and he goes, oh, this is a fast Johnny. It's limited number, all this nonsense. Yeah. I go, okay, let's see. I entertain him, right? I go in, I look at it. I go, oh, yeah, I see the number nonsense. Yeah, it's like the, the yeah, you know, line, but yeah. C- custom line, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a color scheme and they, they get extra money for it. Right. right? So I talked to him, like, oh, yeah, cool. Then we get in the car, go to the machinist. The whole drive to the machinist. Now this is Mississauga Harley to my machinist in Brampton. So it's 20 kilometers. Mm. The whole 20 kilometers, he's like hemming and hawing about this bike, pulling them up online, showing me adverts, reading <laughs> me the BS Harley specs yeah, on the yeah. numbers, all that nonsense. Yeah, it's, it's the exact same as the other. Yeah, one. yeah, exact same. So the whole, so the whole time. So then the whole way back, I'm like, you talk so much shit. This and this. And that. You're just <laughs> such a. And I just keep digging him. Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, well, what would you do? I said, what do you mean, what would I do? I'm like, you have oodles of money sitting in the bank. Yeah. You love the bike. Like, what are you going to do with your money? Yeah. Buy the damn bike if you love the bike so much. Well, well I don't need another bike because I just bought the Pan American. Yeah, and I have the DR and I have this. And I have that. Yeah, well, he collects bikes. He has yeah. so many. Finally, I'm like, dude, you sell the DR, you get X amount of money. You sell the XR, you get X amount of money. That covers the cost of this bike. Yeah. Like, what do you, what's to think of? And you have the money. It's not like you gotta do one before the other and the deal won't be, I'm yeah. pushing him. Yeah, yeah, Dude, he's like, well, what do you think? I got off, I get off on Dixie. He goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going to Harley because you're buying the bike. <laughs> he's like, well, I don't know. I said, I know you don't know. So I'm going to make the call for you. We pull right into Harley. He goes, seriously, I don't even have my wallet. I said, don't worry. I'll pay. I'll pay for you. He goes, he goes, he goes like, well, what about the deposit? I said, I got the deposit. I'll put it on my visa. Don't even worry about it. Let's just go get it done. Shit or get off the pot. 
<laughs> he gets he, he walked into Harley. That's amazing. He, dude, he walked into Harley looking like a Flintstones character with his head <laughs> down and his hand. And that's it. We walked in. I spoke to the salesman. I brokered the deal. I got us a bunch of money and discounts yeah. and freebies. And I dude, I put the bike in my company name, oh, signed. Really? Yeah, everything. Wow. I said, boom, done. Just to make him buy it. Then after we switched everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But done. That's done. crazy. Same day. That same day he saw it, on the way back we bought it, we told the salesman we'll buy it, but the deal is we gotta pick it up tomorrow. Right. And they were like, okay, done. Well, he goes, well, we've gotta be checked for safety. I said, don't worry about all that nonsense. I'll do everything, I'll bring a safety. Just, so then we did. We went, boom, picked That's it up crazy. with a dealer plate. Next day by three o'clock, we picked the bike you and brought it back. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it's Alan's bike. Of course that's, now it all makes sense with the motor work, yeah. right? He don't do he, anything stock. Cause he rides like crazy He's an too, animal. right? He's an animal. He doesn't do anything stock. So what we did was we did the pipe, we did the suspension. What did, is this? What is this one? Uh, don't get any ideas, man. Yeah. I already have my rear suspension well, already done. done. Yeah. Mine's done, I just don't yeah. have it showing. It's, yeah, yeah. I know, but it's some showing. So I know, well, yeah. Dan and I did already talked about that for like an hour. One yeah, day. so this, so we did this, we did the wheels, we did obviously the motor, the heads, the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. The OG Moto stuff you see. Yeah. It already had the bars done at Harley. Obviously, we did the lay down plate, you know, all that they little stuff. They had the bars done? The bars were done at Harley as a gimmick to sell it. Oh, I you see. Know to how show, you can, like, this is what you what can you do. Could do. Yeah, you know yeah. how you know Harley did the bars? Which we've already had to fix the top oh, because go. they messed everything up. This is how you can tell Harley did the bars. Just get a nice close up of there. That's the type of. <laughs> look at this. is the dealer. Wow. Look at this. Look at this, bro. This is how the dealer put this on the showroom floor. Wow. You believe that? Yeah. Does it still have the stock bushings in it too? Yeah. Yeah. So we got to take the whole bar apart eventually and rewire to yeah. fix this. And you just just to fix this. But Alan's like, I'd rather spend money on the motor right now. I'm like, okay, fair. Yeah. Right. That's fair. Like, and he's got, you're going to have to switch the bushings on it too. I feel oh, like yeah. that this, there's going to be so much flex 100%, to these. 100%. Yeah. There's so much to still do, but Alan was like, I want the motor first priority. Okay. Do well, the motor. of course. He wants to and then, you know, we powder coated the, the wheels. Freaking and, mad, man. Oh, he's a savage. This is crazy. Yeah. He's gonna have to switch his seat too. He just ordered this morning the same OG mo. He found a guy in Alberta has that exact seat with the backrest, four hundred bucks. Oh really? Yeah. Because that, yeah, that's not a cheap seat. No, it's like thousand bucks. Yeah, it's, it was four hundred bucks shipped. That's pretty sick. So he bought it this morning. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Because this, so, he's gonna get thrown off. The he hates seat. it. He hates yeah, it. Yeah, seats are trash. Yeah. yeah. Is that he the stock us, seat? Yeah. Yeah. For sure, and so. he made us. He made us mount his floorboards upside down. <laughs> like what are you? Where we mounted going? them right. So but, is he to be putting his foot here? Yeah, he like, puts it the same way. Yeah, I guess like he puts off it on the of side. This? Yeah. No, because look, he's still stepping there. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you can see the wear. Yeah. So yeah. he swears that that extra quarter inch he gains by us flipping them upside down is is, is helping him. He's he's, he's, right. he's he's spun, man. Yeah, he's got the same um, uh, highway bars as me too. Yeah, they're OG. Yeah, they're all the same. We just call. I, I set up an account with OG and I ordered everything they had for this bike. Yeah. Look at her. <laughs> They couldn't, are you telling me they couldn't turn that banjo inward so yeah, it came like yeah. this? As opposed to sticking out, like, could have went like that. Nice. So pathetic. See, it's the little details. It's so pathetic, dude. Look That's at why the, we come here. Look at the brake line. Why we the brake line's a different color than the clutch line. Like, are you yeah, kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so Harley spec. This bike's been here since we started coming to Champion. Yeah. Dude, so to do it, we had to buy for the over a year. Like, you, it was fully built a year ago. Fully built. And then we made, I was going to show you the piece. I posted it on my Instagram just yesterday. We, we made a bracket now that's going to go off here with a custom jack shaft because now the chain has to go to the jack shaft. Oh, it's jump just over. Wire now. Or yeah, because he now. wants it wired. Is this an M8, was it? This, this is, is like the, the first... world's first M8 powered chopper. No one's done an M8 powered chopper. And we converted it to carbureted. Oh, you did? Oh, which is also a first. You, can, you converted it's this carbureted. carbureted. Yeah. It's an M8 powered chopper carbureted. Oh, crazy. It's What's the, the displacement first. on this one? This is a 128. It's a 128 oh, yeah. too. Oh, it's a build. It's you can so see the clutch on this side. It's got the full lock, the full scorpion locked up. Crazy. It's built, man. This motor, this thing yanks. Crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And you see your lowers, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your That's a full 128. Like it's there's no budget with a guy like this. This bike is 120 grand. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's looking, there's his gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put it into the, into the bar. That's cool. That's so funny. Yeah. And it's keyless. He's fucking. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's keyless. We put a fob. We put instead of him having to hold the fob. Yeah. He's like, he's so rich. He's like, I don't even want to hold the. Fob. I'm really, really like, dude. We could hide the sensor so he could put the fob, 
and go. He's like, I don't even want to. He's like, no, okay, we'll put it in a way where your pants signal it. He just has a key in his pocket. And gets on. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So. This is all yours. Okay, so these are the... What pads are these? Holy shit, man. How much shit do you have? I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, and why the reason... When did you buy all this shit for so one? So, this was... I think I did this in July, I want to say. Like, right after we got back and from And it's March now, free. basically. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason it took so long was these, right here. Literally. Just everything here. else was, was within in. a week or two. So, had he's had my stuff here for months. Yeah. Except for these. Yeah. Um, what, what pads are these ones? I don't even know. I don't know. There, there's like four or five different numbers. It's one step under the ones we needed. Oh. Oh, so it's not the gold ones. That's his brake caliper bracket to undersling the rear caliper. Oh, because yeah, because it's a different... Uh, yeah, now we're going radio mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that bracket for the oh, rear. This and then we'll look these up. What, these what are, are these? the brackets for the front. These oh, are the yeah. radio mount brackets. Yeah. So now your caliper oh, will cool. be visible yeah. under the bag. Cool. So that's the... Oh. Brackets for the brakes. Look at these too. Those, oh, those are sick. sick. Those are the. Yeah, so they're gonna. Get, it's gonna be worn sick. just in the. Center. Yeah, you're gonna see just wherever the, the pads center. touching, there will be a line that's silver. Whereas the pads that we wanted. Yeah. Those yeah. Forever, they would not have eaten the gold. Yeah, they wouldn't have. Right. So yeah. The so the original pads we were waiting like five months for. And they're still in the Yo. OTA. Yeah, that's crazy. They're still. I mean, no I don't ETA. care. It's fine. I didn't want to wait anymore, man. I, like, no, just, I was just like. Okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's your Brembo master. Is. Look at that. Oh, I forgot you're doing that too. Yeah. Look at that. So that's the brake master. Sick. Now, is this thing, is it adjustable? Yeah. Is it, like, how does this thing work? I don't even. So you can, you can switch it to be, to be an 18 or a 20. Okay. Obviously you'll want it tighter so, the better. You literally, this cap comes off okay. and you literally put a flat in there and you turn it more bite, less bite. That's okay. It. And so then, what, what is 20 more bite or is 20 less bite? I don't like, even remember, bro. <laughs> if I gave you an answer, I'd be lying. Yeah, all right, well. I want to say 20 is more. So we're going to set it to what? Like, what do you think we'll less. set it to? Like the more, most, mo 20. more bite? Yeah, yeah. So this thing will just stop. It's not so top. much bite, but it's the spongy feel. So you're going to... It's gonna be like it's less. The, it's not gonna be as smooth. As aggressive. Yeah. Right. So but you have able, ABS, so. So it's gonna be smoother? It'll be smoother with the smaller one, less with the big one. Okay. But it'll still give you lots of bite. No matter what, it's gonna be lots. But your bike's ABS. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go the more we can because the ABS pump's always gonna be working against us, right? Right. And then it's also adjustable here. And that adjusts. The lever for you. Oh, like whether out or in or whatever. Get it? Okay, so there's your rotors. These are sick. I'm really stoked. Yeah, about that's this. your rear, that one. That's your two fronts. Right. I remember I didn't know what size to get for the rear. Yeah, I remember I, I picked the side. I picked the Yeah, we got like the one that matches size, the, the undersling caliper because the caliper is a different size. So that's your rear. Sick. And that's oh, so it's yeah. going to sit under. It yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. Did that's you super. pick like the red or is that just. It, that's how it, they it just comes. Oh, that, that's yeah. cool though. It worked out well. No, yeah, it's mint. Perfect. So that's your rear, your front. And they're so now they're gonna sit straighter, right? Because well, they're the radial mounts, so they'll yeah, sit so just like mine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, same so kit on mine. So that has better um, grabbing power, right? Night like breaking day. power. Night and day. Yeah, yeah. So, so the gonna... new Harleys now come radial mount. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And they come inverted forks. Oh yeah, I yeah. did see that all like the road glides. Not all, not all the road not glides though. Or no, the ST does. Anyway. The ST does, but not like the the standard doesn't. No, no. Then weird. how are they going to justify why yeah, they charge yeah. what they charge? Right. One of them here. Uh, let me see. Seat bolt. That's for the seat. Like instead of uh, like the stock <laughs> bolt. Or I had another bolt on it. It fit, came off when I was riding. Right. So let me show you one thing things. that I don't know if it's going to fit. Uh, I bought them as a okay riser gold so i don't know if these are going to fit but i got them just in case because right now i have silver arp bolts that attaches what my does riser mean? attaches my gauge to the riser to the bars so i thought these couple, might fit they, they could fit. we don't know if they're the same thread though we don't know don't know anything i just and two of them have a collar and two don't exactly so i had no clue if they're gonna fit but it's just figure i'd try it right? yeah we'll see worst so case i'll see if they're anywhere that doesn't have a bolt yeah it. so so it's it's what attaches the gauge Simple to enough. the bars yeah, yeah, yeah but everything cool. else is right. you know how it goes right 
<clears throat> so there you go. I can't yeah, risk them getting scratched. That. So oh, sick. That looks so Those good. Those are gonna look yeah. great. Yeah, that's gonna look amazing. Yep. Oh, you want to do one big pan? Yeah. Yeah. Or narrow? Yeah. Do you, if you push, push turn into that thing, like it, in that rear suspension, it just goes. Always this will be even better. It's just going to oh. want to die. Look at this. Well, I can give you this. Those look like two different colors. Oh, okay. So Matt's trying to pick a new gold for uh, the engine in his bike. Yeah. Right? So it, we I mean, think, that looks good there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like these photos look. These photos look good. Yeah. Like, that's in the sun, good. right? That's in the sun. That. Looks That's, like orange. That looks like it's outside, like inside. Yeah, I wonder. Like on this one, is this? Go back to it's got super chrome though. We can't oh, right, see right. it. So we think that the reason the finish came off the the motor was because the super chrome can't hold the heat. I'd say this look right here is the closest. Wow. Okay. Imagine. Yeah. Well, I mean, fair enough. But good job. Yeah. That's why he's like, what size are you? Okay, okay, so, so yeah. when he talks to me, then I'll call you. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, man. Okay. Thank you, guys. See you, boys. See you, guys. See ya. Have a good Watch one. Watch for Alan's name on the website. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we will. We will. Are you blocked in? Okay. No, we're good. Okay. See ya. Yeah. All right, so we just left Champion Cycle. Let's just do a quick rundown of what you're doing to the bike, if you rem if you can remember. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, doing all the, like, all the brakes. So, like pads, the rotors, the calipers, uh, doing a master cylinder, um, doing front suspension, already did backs and doing legends in the front. Um, the front fork tubes are going to be gold. Yep, yeah, that, yep, yeah, gold. Um, Bamco yeah, ARP good, bolts. Yeah, more, more gold bolt, bolts, AR, ARP gold bolts, bolts from Bamco. Um, and then we're going to be repowder coating uh, parts of my motor. Um, that just didn't hold from the heat. So Dan's gonna do some research and figure out what's gonna hold the best. Um, I think that's it, right? If you wanna watch the first build series we did, I'll leave a link up here. You can check out, mm -hmm. you know, what the, the LD Evolve looked like stock, the first kind of round of upgrades, and then uh, this is round two, I guess you could say. Pretty excited about the brakes. Oh, they're gonna look sick. Gonna, yeah, I think it's just also gonna make a huge difference. And now we're gonna grab a little burger. Yeah. We got the burgers, let's go. All right guys, we're gonna get in, eat our burgers. Um, Dan said it's probably gonna be a couple weeks till we see that bike again. Yeah. So let's see what we can do in the meantime on the vlog. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. See you in the next episode. The Weather. weather's about to change. Weather's about so to change. Maybe next week I'll get my bike out. We'll, we'll film that. Yeah. Till next time. See you soon. Just had to get a quick shot of the burgers.